Peace and blessings everyone. This is Brother Samuel. Uh, this video is going to be about um, this coming Sunday, which is uh, September the 29th, which is considered across the world as Michael Mass, or Michael Mass, which is honors to Holy Archangel Michael and also that would be honored on that day is Gabriel and Raphael. You know, these three angels or archangels are highly revered um, here on the planet. Um, they're, they're one, they're, they're are, each one of them a highly known um, Michael is considered the commander of the the heavenly um, the heavenly command. Uh, Michael name in Hebrew is Mem Yod Chet Aleph Lamed. Mem Yod Chet Aleph Lamed. The ruling Elohim of Michael, Archangel Michael, is Yahweh, according to Hebrew Kabbalah. Yahweh. And that's um, Yod, Aleph, He, Va, He, which is in Hebrew. Now, Michael is considered a seraphim according, according to the um, tree of Kabbalah or tree of life which means the burning one. So that lets you know that Michael is an angel of fire, of the fire element. Michael is also an angel, or uh, is one of the angels of sanctification, which are the most holy and powerful of all angels. Um, those angels represent the presence of God. So that, that helps you get a little bit of understanding why Michael is considered um, his name is considered who is like God, but I'm going to explain a little bit more why his name is considered like God or who is like God. Um, Michael is also the protector of the church. Okay. Now, since Michael is a commander of many angels, uh, Holy Michael is considered of many angels. Um, he has angels at command. Okay. He has angels at command. So he's, like I said, he's a protector of the church. And also that can also, um, you can get a, you can put that together with the Roman Catholic Church. He's a protector of the Roman Catholic Church also. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Michael is all, Michael ruling day is um, Sunday and Tuesday. Okay, Sunday and Tuesday. His color is red, obviously. Um, and let's tie in the understanding of why Michael is considered, why his name is considered, who is like God. Because Michael represents the strength of God, the right arm of God. Okay? Like I said, Michael is um, a seraphim or a seraphim, uh, which represents um, the burning one. And also, that name also states... Um, the burning dragon or serpent okay if you if you know of any of the pictures that you see of michael michael is always he always has his foot with a, with a spear or a sword over the devil which is considered a dragon okay so think about that if michael is a seraphim and he is controlling or has command over satan lucifer um, the dragon, and he is also considered a dragon or a seraphim that kind of ties in what happened in heaven, okay? What happened in heaven. Um, like I said, he is a part of, the, he is a ruling angel of the element of fire. Now, I, I since Michael deals with um, the right, and, right arm of God and the strength of God, he deals with justice. Okay, he deals with justice. Now, if I have a reading, okay, and I see this card, <laughs> I know I'm good to go. I know I'm good to go. And the Hebrew letter that ties in with justice is 11. 11, okay? 
So if I see this justice card, I know I'm good to go. Because I know justice is about, to, it's about to come in my favor. There's no tyranny. There's no injustice. Justice is about to be performed. And um, in more science, uh, one of the names of Jesus is justice. Okay, let's put it together, y'all. So uh, Michael is considered the prince. All right. If you look at this card, Michael is wearing red, which represents his favorite color. That's his color is red, which is also the Roman Catholic Church color, which is red. In his hand is a sword. And he has that sword up. You don't have that sword down. Justice hasn't been served yet. Okay, justice has not been served yet. So that sword is still up and it's in his left hand is a scale. So the right arm is representing the right hand of God. Okay. Okay, bringing about justice in the land. Um, and he holds a scale. So this is, this is equality. This is dealing with equality, fair justice. And Michael is sitting on a throne and you can see his right foot is ready. All right, his right foot is ready. So he got the sword up, he got the scale. There's the two pillars. Michael's ready. All right, that's what that right foot means, ready to go. Um, he also is a ruler of the, um, the planet Mars that deals with war. Okay, so if you want to, if you deal with the Mars energy, you're dealing with um, also um, St. Michael, Holy Michael. Um, like I said, Michael is the angel of the Roman Catholic Church, the Pope. Um, is basically the main um, leader when it comes down to, you know, honoring St. Michael, which is a great idea. Like, who wouldn't want to have Michael on his side, on their side? Um, there's plenty of prayers. You can find a lot of prayers um, dealing with Michael. You have, um, so it's very important that you have an altar set. That's why I created this um, angelic seal. This is my angelic seal that I created. And um, these are the Elohims. Okay. And I have a, this is Isaiah, the sixth chapter. And I think it's the, let me see what verse that is. Da, 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 da. Let me find it real quick. I had it up. So Isaiah. Make sure I get this right for y'all. This would be Isaiah the fifth, the Isaiah the sixth chapter and the fourth. Excuse me, Isaiah the um, sixth chapter and the third verse, which it says, "And they were calling to one another, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord Almighty. The the whole earth is full of His glory." And I put the Lord of hosts, but Lord Almighty. Um, I also have Shaddada here. This, this is another Elohim that came to mind, which also represents Almighty. The Lord Almighty, Shaddada. So, it's there. Um, and also the Lord of hosts is probably, that name is probably here, uh, which will probably be Eloah or Elon, but I don't have... And you got Aya, which is I am. So you got some powerful Elohims here. So you put the Elohims in your seal. You put what you want that seal to represent. Um, Michael will be there for you. So you already know, put your candle there. Put your candle in the middle. And I have Michael's um, Hebrew letters here in the middle. Mem, Yo, Chet, Aleph, Lamed. So this is a seal for Michael. Um... Michael, um, Michael does like wine. Most angels like wine. So, you know, give him a glass of white wine and a candle. And put your prayer right here. Like I said, there's plenty of prayers. You can look online, create your own. Uh, Michael, you, you basically want to create an altar in your home for Michael for protection. You want protection. For protection from what? Illness, evil forces, accidents, financial trouble, and you want him also for spiritual cleansing. Okay? Michael for spiritual cleansing. Like I said, Michael is one of the angels of sanctification. 
um, September 29th, uh, which is this Sunday coming, after the new moon and after um, fall equinox, okay? Fall equinox. So now there are going to be more days of uh, winter. Also, um, Gabriel and Raphael will be honored on this day. But like I said, um, September 29th will be con basically considered Michael Mass. Or like, like Christmas, it'll be Christmas, it'll be Michaelmas. And all over the world, y'all, all over the world, people are going to be honoring St. Michael. Okay? So, um, here's some more Bible verses. Daniel, the 10th chapter, and the 13th verse. Daniel, the 12th chapter. And then uh, Re uh, Revelations 12, 7 through 9. So I, I just wanted to just do this quick um, video in honor to St. Michael, who represents justice, okay? Who represents justice, who also can, uh, like I said, in more science, justice, Jesus' other name is justice, okay? Put the two together. Um, and his color is red. He also has green on, okay? So he deals with healing. There's some healing there. He got some yellow at the top represents the sun. The two pillars. The left and the right. And he's sitting on a throne. So that lets you know he's a commander. Uh, commander in chief. Well not a commander in chief. Because that would actually be God. But he is a commander of the celestial um, armies. Um, he has thousands of angels at his beck and so, you know, create an angelic seal, y'all. Create an angelic seal. Purchase a create um, angelic seal. And, um, you know, give your honors to St. Michael on, on this Sunday, which is his, um, also ruling day with Raphael also. So I just want to do this video for y'all. Um, any questions, you know, get back at me. Once again, honors to my spiritual teachers, um, Brother Anthony, um, uh, Dr. Gibson, uh, uh, Kathy Gibson. And I'm Ken Nuhu, all right? And um, I'll be just giving some references on where I got a good majority of my information offline. But like I said, um, uh, Sunday will be an honor to, across the world, um, to St. Michael, Holy Michael, Holy Archangel Michael. All right, y'all, peace and blessings.